Tonight, we want to introduce you to a teenager who is trying to help so many families save their homes and their crucial belongings in these fires. Arul Mather is a high school senior and the inventor of the device you see right there, the fire activated canister extinguisher, also known as FACE, designed to protect homes even when people are not there to protect them themselves. Arul is our hometown hero tonight and he is joining us live from California. Great to see you. Thank you for having me. Well, let's begin with this device, FACE. How does it work? Right, so FACE is essentially the combination of the everyday commercial sprinkler technology that you'd find in, say, the roof of your office building, compacted into a portable format, kind of like your handheld fire extinguisher that you've character characteristically seen. So I actually have a prototype with me right here, and uh, I'll just go through a brief explanation of exactly how it becomes fire activated. So all the magic really happens right here in this sprinkler head. And as I said, this is exactly like what you can find in the roof of your office building. This red glycerin bulb right here bursts at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. And when that happens, all the pressurized fire retardant within the canister right here can actually flow through and disperse in a four to five foot radius for this particular size. Wow, so people put that outside their home, on their fence line, where's the best place? Right, so there are actually a variety of applications. So one is definitely creating a boundary around your property using multiple devices together. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna stop the spread of the body of the fire. But that still relieves the problem of embers, which is where another application comes in. You can actually place these canisters strategically around your home in areas where embers are the most likely to land. And when face devices are placed there, they can actually put out the fire before the ember has the chance to grow big enough to burn down your home. Very cool, Arul. So what inspired you to do this, to invent this, this device? Right, so for the first eight years of my life, until I was eight years old, I lived on New in New Jersey and on the East Coast. And considering I was really little, as well as living on the East Coast, I didn't hear much about wildfires or just the general problem of climate change at all. However, when I moved to California in 2012, I was completely shocked to find out that every single year at the same time, wildfires burned so intensely that they displaced up to hundreds of thousands of people from their homes. However, it wasn't until 2019 when I realized that this problem could personally affect me because in 2019, a brush fire actually grew so large and so close to my house that it threatened to evacuate me and my family from my home. Wow. And at that point, I realized that it was definitely time to make a solution. I love it. And you took action and you came up with something that's going to help a lot of people. And even better, you're doing something pretty special with the proceeds. Tell us about that. Right. So in my initial 30 day Kickstarter campaign for face, I raised triple my initial goal. So all of the profits that I'm getting from that Kickstarter campaign are actually going to be used to donate face devices to fire prone areas which need them the most, specifically using them to donate them to less fortunate people who can't afford a fire protection from their homes, as well as donating them to use in fire breaks to prevent the spread of fires throughout California, as well as other areas across the United States. Wow, incredible work, Arul. I know you're an engineering student and uh, you've got a bright future ahead of you. I can't wait to see what you do. Congratulations on creating this uh, important device in such a critical time to help fight these fires. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on you and we're so glad to have you as our hometown hero tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.